Hi guys, welcome to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Julii campaign on the original Rome Total War. Now, last time we went through all our armies to see how they were doing, how they were training, all that sort of stuff. We also took Thebes uh, and Antioch and Numantia, uh, so it was a pretty productive turn. We took three whole regions during that turn. Um, so yeah, it was pretty productive, pretty good. Uh, now this region down here, we we are building up. So I think it's uh, end turn time. Let's have a look. Yeah, I don't think there's any point in fighting that. So Armenia have Hatra, not really a problem. We are going to have to. Yeah, we are sending one legion up there though. So hmm, Larissa. Why are you so upset? That's what I want to know. Squalor. Culture penalty still. So... What is... Okay, the barracks and stuff are, are Greek. Will this help? No. Um, is there anywhere else that's reasonably happy that we can give them some peasants or something from? No. It's at 65 though now. Uh, how about someone from Athens? Now Athens is going to be upset. So it's 70. That's we can we can stomach 70. Um, luckily with Athens we can make it monthly games and make it a lot happier. That's why I wanted to build the arenas everywhere. Uh, so we'll build an arena next for them. Settlement occupied. Hatra. Yep, yeah, we know. Uh, a couple of town grows. Awesome. Carolus. Great. Uh, Halicarnassus. Great. Uh, we'll put that in front. That's really good. Faction announcements. No one coming of age, but that doesn't matter too much. Ariminium. We have the Hippodrome now. Uh, so let's get the blacksmiths. Palmer just upgraded. Um, let's go for... Get rid of some more corruption. Not a huge amount, but it's something. Also make them happier. Thermon. Uh, Thermon, what do we want to do here? The Jupiter again. Kaidonia. Right, first things first, before we worry too much about that, let's, uh, let's see whether we've got one of these armies ready. Now, Thebes. No, we've only got four there. We've only got three. We've got one legionary cavalry, though. Uh, but we could... Yeah. So, three. And then... Three. So, we would be two short still. Um, I mean... Let's see what we're going to do. They're all reasonably old. But I think we'll leave this guy behind to control the new army. So we'll just leave him behind here. Will that work? Let's go for low tax rate and monthly races. And we are just about okay. Right, these three uh, archers get in there. Now uh, we're going to have four cohorts. So two, three, four. Now we've got three. We need another legionary guy or something. What are we getting here? We are getting a Praetorian and another Praetorian. I guess we'll wait two more turns for that then. And then we'll set off towards... Uh, uh, what's it called? Petra, I think? Now, these guys up here... We're honestly just building up to repel them. Like, <laughs> we are not really in a great situation. Uh, also, did we get to build here then? Antioch. Uh, let's keep going with that. Uh, now, do we have any units we can leave behind? I mean, yeah, we do. We've got one Equites and some Velites that are useless. I don't even think I used them in the last battle. <laughs> now, Antioch, if we go to low tax rate, how do you feel about that? Uh, what if we do this? 60%. They do need a little bit more um, garrison. So let's go with Hastati maybe. 
Oh yeah, we need to still do this. <laughs> if it goes up to 70, ah, 65 still. Hmm. Don't want any of these guys. These guys are good. Sicilians. How about some peasants from Tarsus? Okay. Made them both blue, but that is okay. Now, where do we want to go? I think we want to go for Sidon. Attack those guys in a sec. Now, this one up here. We wanted so Vibius. Yeah, we wanted uh, Tiberius Julius to lead it. So, let's get the uh, cavalry. Also, the horse archers would definitely be useful. Ah, yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Now, we don't need any more cavalry here. Uh, let's go with a couple of auxilia. So, that will be five more. Imperator. So we still would have three spaces. Definitely don't want Eastern Inf uh, Eastern Mercenaries. They are so bad. That's okay though. We're nearly ready for that one. Now this one. Uh, we wanted two more infantry, which looks like we have. One urban cohort as well. And then six cavalry, which looks like we don't have. <laughs> you go there. You go there, that's three. We need three more. Okay, so we're getting one, two next turn. Mm, I mean, we could just send one Barbarian Cavalry, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy with one more of these. How many? Yeah, I'm happy with one more Praetorian Cohort. Cool. Right, um, so what do we want to do? Make sure we're building here. Right, let's go fight that battle against Egypt up here and see what we can do against them. Yeah, they do have chariots, as usual, but I guess we're going to have to just shut them off with our cavalry or something. Fire fire some peeler into them, but I don't know. I think we'll skip the uh, intro to this because it is a short battle. Men! Uh, and also, yeah, we don't actually have too much cavalry left in this army, seeing as I merged them. Like, too many cavalry units, I mean. Um, these guys can come here. Where's the new legionaries? Let's have a look at these guys. Awesome. Legionary cohorts ready to go in the army. Archers. Uh, you guys go there. Bring the cavalry. Hmm, which side do we want? We want cavalry on the right because that's where the chariots are. So yeah, cool. Speed up. We're going to be fighting up a hill, so that's not ideal. I'm wondering whether we can start skirmishing with the uh, the archers to bring them down off that hill. You guys run, archers. Let's, uh, I think the Cretans might be able to just take a couple of pot shots. You guys can fire at, fire at will as well. Still can't fire. I mean, the Roman archers I know are terrible, but the Cretans I thought would be able to fire by now. Looks like they can. Don't think they're going to move though. Uh, right, well, we'll make our way up the hill then. Try outflank them. When these guys get close enough, we'll move the archers up. No, 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 no,
Blummin' eh, I was bad. <laughs> oh, always happens. Right, let's uh, let's march this line up even further. Now they literally just have ah, they brought their yeah, they brought them back. I'm guessing we can kill like most of them though now. They don't seem to be doing anything. They just stood there. <laughs> That's what you get for being incredibly annoying. Bring these guys up this way. How are we still not? How are we not firing? Uh, did they move back? Uh, no. <laughs> annoying. They don't really have much of a high ground advantage anymore, though, which is good for us. If we can break through with our leisurely cohorts on the left, which they're the best troops we have right now, I think, even with the experience then, you know, that should be good. And also, the, all they have are Eastern Mercenaries here. Let's get the Hestati out in behind there. You guys go after those, those Axemen. Let's come up this way. Don't want the Sarmatians to be caught, but I guess they're going to be. Oh, what a mess. Ah. Uh, Done it. They've got their uh, blooming thingies. Although it is the auxilia, so they are spearmen. Oh, they're eating them there. That's great. To get that general, let's get rid of him. Come on, legionaries. <laughs> Maybe not the best use of their legionary cohorts fighting eastern infantry, but I think that should be everyone dead now. Are those new bits of image in the last thing you want to Yep. Get those pearl tasks. They're terrible. Am I anyone? Uh, right, get stopped firing as well. Or you can run over there or something. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Right, we need equites over this side as quick as possible. Get rid of those guys. Um, that looks like everything. Well, I can't see anyone else. Ah, these guys. I don't think you're going to make it, bro, but try. I don't think you're going to make it to anyone. Okay, we killed 94 anyway, so just get that experience and we'll be done. Okay, 5 to 1. That's quite good. I guess it would have been a lot less if I hadn't messed up those Victory! chariots. <laughs> but that allows us to carry on moving to uh, Sidon, and I think Move we, we might get attacked, honestly. Attack! No, that's Attack! a draw-out opportunity, that's really good. They should be stuck as well if we go there. Um, right, the spy, we don't need them here. Oh no, they got killed. Oh no! Don't die. <laughs> so they still have this reasonably strong army up here. It looks like it is full of garbage though. So, classic. General. Uh, did we get anyone recruited? Ah, we got three. Uh, this is 21 Hastati as well. General. Pointless. I, I don't really think we need them, but well, we'll, we'll carry on with them until they die I suppose they will fight until the last man remnants of a lost age I suppose um, and are we done here no but we should have enough next turn now are we sending these guys north because are we sending them to Spain Spain's probably better territory um, but honestly we probably only want to initiate war with Spain once we've marched this army down through Namidia. So this Nemansian army, probably best thing to do is to go and take the Carthaginian land down here. And who do we want to leave as garrison? One of these smaller guys, if we can. Uh. Don't do that, just get some auxilia and then we can use it to retrain when we come back up. They're at 70, so they might riot. Um, leave one of these Spanish mercenaries as well. 
and we'll buy one more. And yeah, it is still owned by Carthage, so I wonder how big their army is there. Hoping not too big, <laughs> obviously. Right, so that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, just fill the rest out with uh, early legionary cohorts. Should I think we just need four more, which uh, should be fine. Orders. So, anything else we can do this turn? Doesn't look like it. It's kind of become a bit of a stalemate over here, apart from Orders. this army, just because of the need to retrain, regrow a lot of these armies. Yeah, we're just about we're just about keeping it in, keeping the uh, pu public order going in some of these places. Okay, Larissa, she's done seventy percent again. Um, I think they will be fine once the uh, turn ticket goes because of those peasants. Um, right. Ah, Cyrene can eventually upgrade. Amazing. Um, Sinope is also really unhappy. What's the deal with? What's the deal? I guess we left all like a lot of the troops left. Uh, well, if you're that unhappy, let's get the arena. I mean, worst comes to worst, we can just stick these troops in there just for one turn. I actually recruit these guys and send them in. Seventy percent, so that's a lot better. And you get some mercenary captain. Awesome. Uh. Do we go past here? It looks like Massalia, yep. Lepsis Magda, yep. They're getting close now to upgrading, which is good. Lugdunum, obviously, Ankira, Nicomedia. All these tiny ones, like, they need to be building. So, yeah, and also Tarsus. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with you. Don't really want more uh, population growth. So, yeah, cool. Should be everything. Nearly have another legion for the north. So, yeah. I mean, Spain shouldn't be too much of an issue. I mean, the bull warriors they have are pretty powerful. But, you know, it depends what we do. If we do send a legion down here. I mean, this legion that we're building in Carthage will be definitely strong enough to fight bull warriors. So, I guess we don't really need to worry about that. Okay, Athens expands. Great. Senate mission failure. Agent found. Faction announcements. Games held. Yeah, just to keep them happy. Uh, construction. Now we should be in a good enough position. No rioting, which is good. Um, so yeah, I think these guys are going to go north. Yeah, zero. Zero deaths. Good, good, good. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, these guys are going to go and take on... Who are we going to take on? Go get the last uh, Macedonian settlement. I mean, Thrace. We are allies with Thrace, so I guess not. Could go take on the uh, Bretons. Or the Dacians. No, I don't want to have to walk all the way up there. Let's go. Uh, let's go for the Bretons first. This is an absolute elite unit as well, so this should be an absolute beast. Should just chew through them. They, their only concern is their chariots now. So, <laughs> um, okay, we'll get that one more, and then we'll have this unit ready as well. Ready to go. Awesome. Down here, let's keep on going. Yeah, cool. They do have a reasonable army in there, but I'm sure we'll be okay. Right, Manius, plus all your infantry. Can we leave Carthage though? That's the one thing. Now, it's going to have to be monthly games, it looks like. Um, so you go on the bridge. Yeah, 
Yeah, we need three more. Hmm. Can we get early legionary cohorts here? No. Do we have any any spearmen? It'll just speed it up if we just get like one or two spearmen. One, probably uh, one, and then we'll get two legionary cohorts. Uh, are you ready to go yet? Yeah. No, you're just waiting for those two, I guess. Uh, or were you waiting for? Okay, so we've got four. Um, you can come up here. No more moves, sir. Orders, Daryl. So four, five, then some legionary cavalry. Six. Uh, we just need one more then. One of these guys. Cool. Awesome. Right, you. Okay, that army's gone. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get attacked here. So. We'll bear for the battle, but I'm guessing either this, uh, it's probably that's going to attack us. Which will be a tough battle, but I'm sure we'll be okay. Cool, looks like, uh, looks like that, that's everything again. Uh, was there anyone we needed to attack? I can't remember. No, I think that's everything, uh, apart from construction. Right, let's construct a few things, let's build, time to build something. Medallionium. Let's go with the Great Forum, get some money flowing through these coffers now that we've spent so much on uh, blooming, they're not a good public order, on uh, military. It's time to actually uh, start getting a bit of cash for the cities. Although we are doing well on cash, so I don't really, we don't really need to. I go with the. Uh, some more population growth for Thapsus. So let's just take whatever's the best option for any city at the time. Uh, Nova Martius, let's get a, uh, a port, start trading. Nope, any of these. Elysia, um, let's get roads. And then any of these, I think these are just, yeah standard, bog standard ones. Uh, Memphis. Uh, no. Let's go with the large temple of Jupiter. Get rid of that corruption. Uh, Palmyra. Let's do that. And Thebes. Let's make Thebes happier. Because Thebes is unhappy right now. Very unhappy. Uh, yeah. Doing good. Doing good up here. Hmm. Recruit a couple of uh, auxilia to, to take that. We can also go and attack Damascus, so that would be good. And then Egypt will basically be gone. How are we looking here then? Just need more infantry, innit? Three? Why did I think it was three that we needed? Oh, we can stop that now, probably. Also, was it Tarsus where we were recruiting loads of peasants? We were recruiting loads of peasants somewhere. That's here. There we are. Fine. Let's end the turn and see what, see what happens. Probably going to get attacked by those Egyptians. Most likely. Okay. Looks like uh, the Bruti are actually doing something for once. Now this... Ah, I think I'm more chariots. More and more chariots. But we know, kind of know how to deal with them now. Like Once they're stuck in the fight, they're stuck. So we can charge them. We've also got one Spearman unit, so that will be fine. I mean, it's a small army to take on all these. These guys are trash apart from them. So we really just want to focus on this and just take it out. Yeah, they've not got a huge amount of infantry. We've got a couple of Slingers, but I'm sure we'll be able to deal with them. They're attacking us as well, so let them come to us. I don't want to get sandwiched, but... We can let them come to us. Let's see what he has to there say then. the army of the Egyptian pharaoh. Worthy foes to a man. We stand on the defensive today. Let them wear themselves out against our battle line. They have a slight advantage in numbers, but our good spirits should counter that quite handily. Yet, for all that, one of you is worth more than any number of them. 
Skills, valor, and honor still count for something in war. Our horsemen must be careful today, as they face many spearmen. I have fought these men many times, and even now they must be praying to their false gods for mercy. They will have little enough of it from me. When I set my heart on an attack, I do so knowing that I will win, that my men will win, that victory is within reach. All we need to do is stretch out and grasp the foe firmly by the throat. What we do today, we do as servants of the gods. Ask them for courage and strength. Honor them in your hearts, and they will aid us all. Look to your weapons, but also look to the heavens and raise a mighty shout in praise of the gods. Now, to battle! We Classic. Um, it's just kind of a, it's kind of funny how we are pressing so hard <laughs> with these hodgepodge armies. <laughs> They're so bad. Uh, obviously want these guys into the fight now classic to the side I mean it, it seems to work now we do have the maneuverability against uh, against these guys honestly uh, let's go charge these Egyptian chariots before they can do any damage uh, also you guys can fire at will now they're just normal cavalry Yep, yeah, these are Axemen, they're not going to do anything against that cavalry. There's an Axemen terrible. That charge is good. Very good, very good. Completely ruined this unit. Let's go on to the Desert Cavalry. Let's see if we can get their general. They're dead. Fully dead. That's right, this is better. More aggressive cavalry maneuvers. Getting those Egyptian chariots ASAP. Is it me or do the generals always move a lot quicker than the than the equites? Like in terms of response, they're going to try and counter us with their demo cavalry, but it's too late. It's too late. The generals running. These salvations are ruthless as well. Yep, they ain't do, they ain't going to do nothing against these legions. Kill these desert axemen. You can uh, you can outflank these guys. You can outflank them as well. They're going to start running. Yeah. Just carry on through straight into the next unit. Okay, this one's got a lot better than the last couple of battles, probably because of the aggressiveness of the cavalry rather than just waiting. Yeah. Breaking them left, right, and centre. Wow, those uh, auxiliaries aren't doing too well. These desert axemen just have nothing to defend against this cav. Like we even we probably lose more from our own charge than we do like actually fighting them. <laughs> Go kill that general if we can. Right, where's our actual leaders? There they are. Uh, you come round. You still have 60 men. General fleets. He still flees. Good. Gods be praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. These eleven auxilia. <laughs> be fair to the credit of these Nile spearmen. Oh, yes. They are close. <laughs> I was hoping we could kill all of them before they leave the battlefield, but. I guess we need to set up first. <laughs> we leave the cavalry to keep on fighting, running them down. Uh, yeah, send you there, you here, and you maybe here, and then you three can chill. Now these guys actually have a general's bodyguard, so yeah. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot about that. I should not have done that. You guys are going to run now. You guys can come and join these guys. I 
want you to just fire at these Pharaoh's Guard for just one second. That was stupid of me to charge those Ectes in. I thought they were just going to break just from being nearby. Kill these skirmishers. I think we have killed more than 95% uh, of these guys. It's just we need to sort these guys out now. Uh, okay. Send in the cavalry to counter them. Yep, break them and kill their general, please. Please, so please kill them. We got them completely surrounded, so yeah, there we are. The archers should not be firing at them. Archers fire at these now, Spearmen. You can kill those desert axemen. You can fix these guys. Uh, you go after those skirmishers. You go after these guys. Quick base can. Uh, Flank, awesome. Oh, they're broken already. Guess it's just uh, the decisiveness of the battle. How are they faster than my cavalry? Probably because my cavalry are knackered. The enemy See how many we've killed? Virtue. 84, right? We do need to carry on fighting them. Rabbits running from our men. I'll just leave those skirmishes to go, they were too quick. Kill these guys! Awesome. Nice. It's such a victory. There's a city back there. About 300 to 1,300. That's good, considering the amount of troops we started with. We smashed the chariots earlier. I, honestly, I forgot about that second army. <laughs> Which is pretty embarrassing. I'm hoping we go straight into Sidon now. Is it Sidon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are. Now they're going to come and try and kill us more. Uh... I'm not bothered about this army, honestly. <laughs> Clear defeat, obviously. I mean, they can be used as garrison, though. I guess. I just didn't think about that. Rome Exterminate Sidon? Yeah. Ah, here's Armenia again. Blockade Port Salamis. Salmon besieged. Resistance is futile Sidon. See what we got here. Large city, large army barracks, and all that stuff. That's good. Temple of Horus, not even a good one. So that's actually really good. Um, and what do we need? I think we do need more cavalry. We'll get rid of these equites. Um, but we can actually get proper legionary cohorts here as well. So maybe stay here four turns. Uh, and Antioch, let's recruit some. Let's recruit some legionary cohorts in Antioch. Also, let's get that wall just just in case. Don't want Armenia coming down here anymore. Uh, these auxilia will have to go in this army now. Those desert infantry don't matter. We'll bring the army down to here, and we will attack them. Faction announcements. Lucius Julius, uh, you're really old, you're going to die soon anyway. Um, right, this legion is going north. Okay, apparently it's faster this way. But Dacia's not going to be too happy. But, I don't care. Right, let's do the construction, and that should be the end of the episode. So, Suggestica, nope. Uh, right, let's do it the other way. Um, recruitment report, all that stuff. Actually, first things first, make sure that our armies are not ready to go. Because if they are ready to go, we can we can go with them. Alright, Auxilia, we just need one more legionary cohort for these guys. And that's ready to go. So it's been a bit of a couple, a couple of slower kind of episodes, I guess. But it has been building slowly up to this. Oh my days, that's a big army. I'm going to go stand on this bridge. And then, if they attack... That's good for us. Um, now, is there anyone I want here? We do have a lot of cavalry. 
I mean, we can disband these guys and get a full unit. I also could do with some slingers. Mm, yeah, you, you are not going to be useful anymore, so let's get rid of you and get the slingers to lay down the pain on these guys. Um, so, okay, that army's there. Is this army done then now? It looks very much like it is. What's this? Uh, right, cavalry first. We also have cavalry here, don't we? Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, it looks like we'll be done. Cool. Might have too many cavalry, but that's that's fine. Uh, right, construction. So that's all the armies. Uh, actually, apart from this one. <laughs> so many armies now, so many armies. You come up. Um, legionary cavalries. Yeah, we still need to keep recruiting down here. So, keep on going with the Praetorians. Yeah, we've got Praetorians there. And keep on going with the Legionaries. Yep. Amazing. Oh, actually. We've got those four. That's five, six. Then we just need one more. Which will be this Praetorian. So, I guess we don't need these. But they can, they can follow up as like a, a support force, I guess. Cool. So, we're waiting one unit here. One unit here. Uh, Sidon should recruit. We are recruiting legionary cohorts. Good. Palmyra. Once those are done, we'll move out with this heavily cavalry army. Uh, we'll also fight Armenia next. Uh, well, the end of this turn. So next episode as well. So um, yeah, that should be good. Right, Suggestica. No. Uh, Sparta. What do we want here? Let's go with that. Get the public health up. Carthage, do we need, yeah we do need monthly games unfortunately, so let's get the Pantheon. I swear Carthage is always really unhappy, no matter who you are. Well obviously if you're Carthage, no, but if you're not Carthage, I swear they're really unhappy. Um, see this is why we got the uh, the games everywhere. See Halicarnassus, yeah it's going to go down at next turn though. Sardis, um, I start getting roads around all this region. Increase the uh, increase the trade and ports. Cyrene, Lugdunum, Ankara, Nicomedia, Mazika. Yeah, roads in Mazika as well. Uh, Alexandria. What do we want here? Probably more Jupiter, more law. Uh, Numantia. Let's get roads. Right, that's it. Uh, so thank you very much guys for watching, next episode we'll take on this Armenian army and then we'll march our other army to take on Armenia and then march them north. So that should be good fun and hopefully we'll, we'll mop up with this uh, strong army, we'll mop up the rest of, uh, of Egypt here and move on to Parthia quite quickly. We also have like, we have this cavalry army, so I guess we could send they, them north but... I mean, to take out Egypt quick, we want one guy going down to Petra, and then maybe these two armies to mop up the rest. Uh, it's just Damascus and Jerusalem. They could march on Jerusalem. These guys could march on Damascus. Um, hit them simultaneously, and they won't know what to do, even if we lose a couple of those battles. But yeah, thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you again on the next episode.